for about 20 feet on his belly before he realized he could stand up. He was in a cave that he didn't even know he had under his property. Well, when he got inside there, there was his old hound dog just complaining and howling and grunting in the dark. And you know, because that dog Juno came in first, we say Juno the dog discovered this cave in 1862. Now, oh, by the way, up at the pavilion by the parking lot, there is a statue of Juno the dog who discovered our cave. Well, then John and Juno crawled back out. And you know, when they uh, got outside, John covered up the entrance to his cave and didn't tell anybody for five years. Even didn't even tell his family, didn't tell them anything. And I'm gonna tell you more about that story as we go along. Okay, now, jump up to the 1930s. We had a tough time in our country. It was called the Depression. Now, during the Depression, a farmer decided to farm down here in the cave. This right here is one of the remaining farm plots or gardens that he had. He had five or six. Well, the only one remaining, and down here in the dark, in the damp, in the pool, he would raise mushrooms. Mushroom. I know you were thinking marijuana. No. <laughs> no, he raised mushrooms. The reason is mushrooms are a fungus. They don't require sunlight. And so he would raise those little button mushrooms, like on your pizza. But he would then harvest them, take them into Springfield, sell them in the market, and that's how he and his family made it through the Depression. Very smart. Okay, now, uh, you're going to hear, uh, up ahead, I'm going to introduce you at the next spot. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of basic formations you see in lots of games, okay? So I'm assuming some of you guys have been underground before. And you know, every cave has a story to tell. And so I think you'll enjoy what we got to share with you. Let's go see what we can find, shall we? Yeah. All right, here we go. Watch your head, please. Keep your head down until you get out of here. Watch your head. Everybody be careful. And then driver's side. I've got one more I call the headstone. That stone will hit you in the head. Watch it. Yes, it does. Okay. Well, let's see. Congratulations. It looks like everybody survived the lowest.